what's up y'all y'all been asking me to start vlogging my well for when i cook so today i'm going to be making fish and spaghetti and garlic bread so yeah we're going to be making fish and spaghetti with garlic bread this is the garlic bread i use okay so I usually get fresh fish from Kroger when I go to Kroger. I always get the fresh fish. I don't ever get the frozen because it tastes better. So, anyways, I always make my scoop. It's my man. Okay, so I just made Clover a bottle and. The first thing I just, well, I just wash my hands. And the first thing I always do is I cut up my onions and bell peppers. Then I boil my water for my noodles. And I only get the small peg. You know, well, this noodles I use. I only get the small peg because it just be me and my boyfriend eating so. You just lock it. You take out half and you break them in half. Okay, so we just let that boil until they get soft or whatever. But I cut up a, a, a whole bell pepper and a half an onion. See, I only use half an onion. Then, then I'm gonna pour some, just a little bit, a little bit of olive oil and my uh, 10 inch skillet you can just pour a little bit, it don't matter or you can use vegetable oil, it don't matter but I use but I use the um, olive oil for my for the vegetables, and then you just and clean up as you go. So you won't have like a big mess to clean after you cook. So we're just gonna throw this away. You can season your vegetables if you want to. I just put a little bit. Just a little. And this is my favorite seasoning. Tony's. Tony's is my favorite. My favorite. You just let the vegetables cook. You didn't want to take my ground beef. And I use the 80% lean, 20% fat. I don't know. I don't. Uh -uh. Anyways, I don't know what they mean, but this is the ground beef my mom always uses when she cooks. So this is what I am gonna use today. This is the ground beef I always use. So. 
you're gonna get your tennis skillet and of course turn the eye on you just break it up and put it in the skillet Forget every time you touch raw meat, wash your hands. Make the season your ground beef. And like I said, I put it tonies on everything. And you basically just cook the ground beef. You stir it until it's all the way brown and it's no pink look. No pink. Yeah, I didn't even know I could cook until I moved it to my own place. Like for real. I used to never cook at my mom's house. Never cook at my mom's house. Stir up these spaghetti. They look good. Okay, one of them. They're ready. Yeah. So this is the only strainer I have. So we're gonna drain the noodles. After you drain all the water out the noodles, you're gonna wanna pour your ragu sauce. And I always get the salty onion and garlic. Ground beef is also ready, and you're just gonna drain the grease out. And I also use a can of tomato sauce. Tomato sauce and tomato paste. You only need a little bit of tomato paste. And you can be letting your grease warm up to fry the fish. I don't use a spoonful of this. And you stir it up. Stir it up real good. Yeah.
we be having so much food left over because it's only two of us, and it's kind of hard to, like, I haven't learned how to make, like, small portions, like, really small portions of food here. Let me turn the fire, because it's still going to cook some more. Just make sure you stir it up all the way. Pour your vegetables in there. Put on veggies, girl. Put on, put on veggies, girl. I used regular vegetable oil and I just poured in my deep fryer. I got this small deep fryer because I don't really fry food. The only thing I do fry is fish. So, but I got a pound and a half of fish. This is my deep fryer. My tiny, tiny deep fryer. I don't need a big one because I don't fry nothing. Oh, cheese. Cheese. I love cheese on my spaghetti. So I'm going to put four slices of cheese in my spaghetti. The spaghetti is te technically done, and this is how it should look with the cheese on top. That's if you like cheese. And then you just cover it back up. And over here, I have my grease warming up and my fish fry, um, the fish fry stuff. Hold on, I'm gonna show you how to pack it. But this is the fish breading fish fry, whatever you want to call it that I use. It's called the Nona Bellas Genuine Golden Fry. And I always get the hot and spicy count because I love my fish to be spicy. And excuse the dishes I cooked last night and I did not record, but anyway. This is, and you don't have to, I do it the way I, I watch my grandma do it. Say hey. But yeah, I do it the way I watch my grandma and my mama and everybody else cook. They always put the fish fry in plastic bags. So y'all can put y'all's in bowls or whatever the case may be. But I put mine in plastic bags the hood way like my grandma did. So that's what we doing. And you season your fish breading with whatever season you pick of your choice. We're using the Tony's. Creo season to season my fish fry. You don't need a lot. I hope you know what? I'm just a little boring. Because you don't want it too salty. You don't want your fish salty. And then you take your hand and mix it. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Here's my grease, and we're gonna check and see if it's hot enough. There we go. And I'm only gonna be using four pieces of fish because it's just me and my boyfriend. He eat two pieces, I eat two pieces, so. This is what we're gonna use, man. I told y'all, whatever, um, 
whatever grocery store y'all go to, I recommend getting. I recommend getting the um the fresh fresh catfish fillet instead of buying frozen fish. Cause I don't know, I just like getting fresh seafood instead of buying it froze. It is gonna peel this little stuff off. Fresh, fresh fish, catfish. Mmm. You can rinse it out if you want, but you don't have to. You don't have to rinse it out because it's fresh. You know, it's already fresh. And you're gonna put it in the season. Well, the fish fry and make sure it's fully coated. You're gonna shake the excess bread it off. And drop it, drop it in your deep fryer, baby. Cause we frying fish tonight. Fish fry tonight with gorgeous. Period. So the fish is frying, and this thing is so small. I can only fry one at a time, but who cares? Cause this is all I use this for anyway. But this the fish is frying. I'm only gonna fry four pieces, okay? Let's see. Golden, baby. Golden. It's golden. It's almost ready. I always forget to do this. You can go ahead and preheat your oven. 425. And just pop them in there. I always forget the garlic bread, but not tonight. Golden. Stop playing with me. Don't play. And we got another piece. Like I said, you don't have to you don't have to rinse the fish off. Because it's already fresh. I don't usually rinse it off. But I don't feel like hearing y'all now in the comments. This is my recipe. Well, not my recipe, but this how I make my fish. So, this how it's gonna be made. Drop another piece in there. My man don't even know I'm cooking. He back there sleep. Yeah, let me tell y'all. But I sleep good. Way y'all. So last night, we stayed, well, it, we both took a, like a short nap. He always take a nap. I take, I took like a short nap. But anyway, he stayed up to two o'clock this afternoon. Doing what I don't know, but he stayed up to two o'clock this afternoon, and he just not going to sleep. Like he didn't go to sleep to two o'clock this afternoon, so he been back there sleep. But after the food ready, I'm gonna go back there and wake him up because it's time to eat. It's time to eat, babe. And that's another thing. If you move in with somebody, you're going to love cooking for them. Like, I love cooking for myself and for my dude.
while the oven is preheating, I'm gonna get the pan ready for the for the garlic bread. I'm gonna stick a piece. Baby. 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 Baby, that's all I gotta say. Cover me, so she be good. She over there sitting in her seat. Being a big girl. So, if you haven't already, go ahead and start cleaning up your mess. So the only thing you really should have is the only mess you should have. And my grandma be getting on me because she be like, you waste so much food. What am I supposed to do with it? Put aluminum foil on the top and reuse it later? Like, and I think it's only like 80 cents. She be like, you be wasting so much food. Cause I only use a spoonful. Almost ready. Mm -mm 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 I ain't to wash dishes. Why are we having time? Be trying to go to shop, cook, clean, take her clothes, and it just be a lot. Don't don't judge my dishes. I'm gonna wash them. Time. If I'm up ready. I'm up ready. Mm -hmm. I hope y'all enjoy watching me cook because this is probably my first and last time doing it. Um, if y'all like it, I'll make I'll, I'll record every time I cook. Every time. Make sure you get the breading. Pull it on you. And I'm not making those other two pieces because like I said, we're not gonna eat all of it. We eat two 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 pieces of fish a piece. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put the bread in. Cause I don't have time. I don't have time to wait, wait on it. So I'm gonna put the bread in. The oven not already, it's not preheated all the way, but it should be fine. It don't matter. Okay, remember I had put the four pieces of cheese on my spaghetti. We gonna check on it. Check on it. Check on it. Baby. The fish, the fish ready. Y'all know Grove Hero. Is the fish ready? The fish ready. So I'm gonna record my spaghetti on my phone because like I said, I'm not moving my camera. So let's check on the spaghetti. Ooh. Right. Oh, and gonna stir it. Real cheesy, baby. Real cheesy. Then, when I make my plate, 
I put another piece of cheese on it and it just be super cheesy. I'm trying to stir these up and record at the same time. So y'all get the picture. Y'all get it. You see it. You see it. And you're just going to make sure the sauce is completely... You don't want any white spots in your spaghetti. But yeah. Just stir it. Baby. Don't play with me. Don't play with me, period. Spaghetti is ready. Cover it and keep it on low. It's on low. And that beep was the garlic bread and my fish going. It's ready, baby. Let me sneak a piece. Swoosh. Fire. Fire. I'm gonna get up so I can come eat. Oh, and when I cook, see, I gotta do laundry, I gotta clean up. It's just so much. He woke. Come on, it's time to eat. He look homeless. I'm making a video. We're gonna use real plates today. Cause why not? We all done. Wait. Fish and spaghetti. Thanks for watching. And we out.